This PowerPoint will demonstrate how to sketch graphs of sinusoidal functions using transformations of the basic sine or the basic coast graph. And in the first example here, graphing y equals 3 sine 2x, if you take a look at the 3, the 3 allows us to find what the amplitude is. The amplitude is that 3. So if we compare that to the original sine function, the original sine function has an amplitude of 1. The graph we're going to draw will have an amplitude 3 times larger. Now the 2 here affects the period. The period is 360 degrees divided by that 2. So 360 divided by 2 is 180. So the period of this function is only half as long as this original sine x function. And so we're going to use the five defining points that define a sine graph. The beginning, the middle, the end, and then the peak or maximum point, and the trough or minimum point. And so these two transformations of y equals sine x making the amplitude 3 and the period 180 degrees do not change where a period will start. So we're still going to start here at the origin at 0, 0. And the end, though, will not be at 360. It'll be at 180 degrees because the period is only 180 degrees. That middle point will be, of course, at 90. And if you look at the original sine function, halfway between the, uh, well, between the middle, the beginning and the middle, there's a maximum point. So between, halfway between this point and this point, which means above 45 degrees, there will be a point at 3 because the amplitude is 3. And so halfway between the middle at 90 and the end at 180, which would actually be 135 degrees, we'll have a, a y value here at negative 3 because, again, the amplitude is 3. And so we draw a smooth sine curve between those five points. And that's what one period of y equals 3 sine 2x looks like. Now, if we want to graph more, we just have to duplicate exactly the same shape. So there would be another period between 180 and 360. And then another one between 360 and 540. And we can keep on going as long as we want. So there's one more cycle or period. And there's another. And there's another. So there's four periods of y equals 3 sine 2x. Another example, example 2, we're asked to graph y equals 4 cos a half x minus 2. Again, the 4 tells us the amplitude is 4. The half here, multiplied by the x, is a stretch that will make the period longer. So the period is 360 degrees divided by that half. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. So 360 degrees times 2 is 720. So this has quite a long period. The minus 2 in the end is a vertical translation 2 down. That affects where the middle of the graph is. So instead of being right along the x-axis, the middle will be down here at negative 2. And you'll see a dotted line coming in now. That's the vertical translation 2 units down. So that's the middle of our graph. That's the axis. Now, a cosine graph normally starts a full amplitude above the middle of the axis. So right here, we're going to start, and the, am the amplitude is 4. So counting 1, 2, 3, 4, we'll place a dot right there. That's going to start a period. And remember, the period is 720 degrees. One cycle is going to start there. So 720 degrees, we go 720 degrees over here, which is right there. And we'll have exactly the same height as where we started. So we'll put a place a dot right there. Now the cosine has its only minimum halfway between the beginning and the end of a cycle. And so that would halfway begin between 0 and 720 degrees would be below 360. And so there will be, again, 1, 2, 3, 4, full amplitude below that horizontal line. Now the graph crosses that horizontal axis halfway between the beginning and the minimum, and then halfway between the minimum and the end. So in this case, halfway between 0 degrees and 360 would be 180. So at 180 here, there's going to be a dot. And then halfway between 360 and 720, which would be at 540, there would be another one as well there. And so then we draw a smooth cosine curve through all those points. And so that's what one period of y equals 4 cos a half x minus 2 will look like. One more example on the third page, we're asked to graph y equals negative 3 sine 4 x minus 30 degrees plus 1. 
Again, looking at the front, the negative 3 multiplied by the sine. The 3 is the amplitude. The negative means that there's been a reflection in the x-axis. So compared to the original sine graph here, the graph's going to be upside down. You don't see the entire period, one period of this sine graph, because of the fact that the uh, period of this function is, has been shortened considerably. We don't see out to 360 degrees. We see most of it, but not quite. So from here to that point is actually 180 degrees. That's half of a cycle or half a period. Now the 4 here is what affects the period. So the period is 360 degrees divided by that 4, which is only 90 degrees. So from 0 to 90 degrees, we'll see one cycle exactly. The uh, x minus 30 degrees and the plus 1, they shift the graph. So the plus 1 means it's been moved up 1. So the equation of the axis in the middle is y equals 1. And the minus 30 degrees means that there's been a horizontal translation of 30 degrees to the right. So handling the uh, axis, the y equals 1 axis, here's the axis in the middle of the graph right there at y equals 1. And so this is a sine function. And remember, instead of starting right here then, there's been a horizontal translation 30 degrees to the right. So instead of starting our cycle right there, we're going to start at 30 degrees to the right. So we'll place a dot right here. Now the period is 90 degrees, so we're starting at 30. If we go 90 beyond that, we'll be up here at 120 degrees. So our cycle is going to end there, that we're starting right here. Remember, halfway between those, in the middle between 30 and 120, 20 would be right here. So place a dot right in the middle between 30 and 120. And then remember the sine function is upside down because there's a reflection in the x-axis. So instead of tracing up like this, it's going to instead start here and trace down. The amplitude is 3, so halfway between 30 and here, we'll place a dot 3 units below the y equals 1 line. And then halfway between here and here will be three units above. Now, to plot that fairly accurately, notice that there's one, two, three, four, five, six between the beginning and the middle. So that's why at one, two, three blocks, we're down an amplitude three below. And then one, two, three, we're up three, the amplitude of three. And of course, you can count three more blocks over to the end. So we'll draw a sine curve between those. So here's our one period of y equals negative 3, sine 4, x minus 30 degrees plus 1. And of course, we want to draw more. We just duplicate the same cycle. And of course, we can go more in this direction as well out here. So there's uh, three cycles of y equals negative 3, sine 4, x minus 30 degrees plus 1. And that's the end of the lesson.